It's time for the bulls to step up and support Tesla. Let's talk about it. Hi, this is Tim from Trading Strategy Guides. You know, Tesla has some of the coolest cars ever. Yeah, I'm a fan of German cars and Italian cars. <laughs> I love the Lamborghini. And I have been fans of these cars all my life. And yeah, Tesla only partially measures up to them. But when you think about a completely electric car that can go from 0 to 60 in 1.9 seconds with a top speed of 250 miles per hour, that's 400 kph for you metric folks, I think that's pretty danged impressive. And Tesla's also done some pretty cool things with battery technology. The Tesla Powerwall here is a battery system that can power your whole house for 24 hours, depending on your power consumption of course. Unfortunately Tesla's stock is going in the opposite direction right now and that's what I'm here to talk about today. But first a reminder that you can speed up this video and save some time in your day by clicking the little gear icon in the lower right and selecting a new speed. As usual stick around to the end uh, to get my next trading maxim. Also, uh, I want to take a quick look at a setup from earlier this month. A few few weeks ago, I showed you this pattern on Bitcoin. Price is now approaching the top of this triangle right here and could break out. Uh, as I mentioned, watch for the volume to break this trend line when this break occurs. That should indicate that it's not just a head fake. For more information, check out my video. Uh, I'll put the link to it below. Okay. Let's take a look at Tesla now. As always, I start with the weekly chart and add support and resistance lines at important level. A couple above and a couple below. Sometimes I like to pull a Fibonacci if it seems important. Uh, looks like this support zone right in here, uh, around 250, 260, is near the 61% uh, Fibo of this move up right here. Um, remember, a line is never just a line, it's always a zone. Now, it, you know, $10 is a pretty big zone, but you can see there's been um, price rejection uh, around $250. Um, so, and and the, the top of the rejection zone is somewhere just uh, just below 260 As you can see, price has been a down, in a downtrend since uh, early December. It's taken a bounce off this 61.8% uh, FIBO that I showed you on the weekly chart, and it's attacking the trend line right now. You see it's pushed down a little bit today. Uh, when I first started looking at this, it was right at the trend line. So it looks like it might be taking a bounce off this trend line. Volume, as usual, is showing us that the uh, interest is in the stock has been waning since early March. So I suggest this could go either direction. It could push through here. It could drop. Um, obviously it depends on who steps up first. If the bulls step up and support this, uh, we could see a break of this trend line. But I'd want to see some big volume on a move like that. Otherwise I think the push up would just fail and we'd see some more downside. Uh, this 248.50 level right down here uh, is pretty strong support, and I think I would be a buyer down there myself uh, if it if it got down there for sure, uh, especially if we started to see a bounce with volume support. As you can probably tell, I love Tesla and Elon Musk and uh, all their products, but unfortunately that doesn't matter. Uh, if you want to be a successful trader, you can't buy or sell based on your emotional support or lack of support for a stock. So keep a close watch on this one. This break could happen in the next few days uh, or drop. Okay, you made it through to trading maxim time. Congratulations. Today's trading maxim is number 16, and it's just a bit long. So here you go, trading maxim number 16. 
Just because it's a winning trade doesn't make it a good trade. Just because it's a losing trade doesn't make it a bad trade. Good trades follow your plan. Bad trades do not. Now, obviously, I don't repeat this one to myself, um, but knowing this is really important. And um, you've heard me say it before. I made this mistake myself as a new trader, thinking that a losing trade was some sort of mistake on my part. Uh, I think I may have told my story about uh, taking a bunch of uh, paper trades and winning them and then taking live trades and losing them and thinking I was doing something wrong. You know, that's not a mistake. If you followed your trade plan, you do have a trade plan, right? <laughs> if you followed your trade plan, then it was a good trade, win or lose. All right, in case you're interested, this is a picture of the Yellowstone prong in the Graveyard Fields area of Western North Carolina, right off the Blue Ridge Parkway near the Shining Rock Wilderness. This is absolutely one of my favorite places to go. Okay, if this video helped you in any way, please click the thumbs up below. And be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you'll be notified when there's new material here for you. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you next week.